right, boys and girls, welcome to our fifth electronic math chat. Uh, we're going to be reviewing volume again today. I know some of this seems repetitive or that we've done a lot of this volume stuff, but we're going to be wrapping up kind of this concept of volume today. And then our next electronic math chat, I'm going to be diving into a few more difficult types of volume questions. But I want to make sure that you guys have the foundation of what volume is first. Um, and then we'll be going into a little more difficult uh, concepts regarding volume and other geometry skills that you'll be learning in fifth grade. Okay, but our lesson today, our I can statement, is I can calculate the volume of a right rectangular prism by identifying the length, width, and height of each figure. So on this uh, activity I have for you guys today, I have one, two, three uh, different right, I'm sorry, I think I have four. Yeah, four right rectangular prisms that have the unit cubes already identified, or I'm not identified, already drawn out and sketched in each um, right rectangular prism. I'm going to do the first one with you guys, and then I'm going to have you do two, three, and four on your own. So the first uh, right rectangular prism we have right here, we need to identify the length, width, height, and then remember that in order to find the volume of a right rectangular prism, the formula is going to be volume equals length. Oops. I have the baby in my hands, guys. So I'm typing with one hand, which has kind of proven to be a challenge. The volume equals the length. times the width, times, oops, times the height. So, if we know that we, once we identify the length, width, and height of each right rectangular prism, then what we need to do with those uh, measurements is we need to multiply each of them, and that's going to get us the overall volume of each right rectangular prism. So the first one that we look at right here, I'm going to look at the length, is down at the bottom. How many unit cubes are down at the bottom here? Well, I count one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you are fine. He is really fussy tonight, guys. I'm sorry. So the length is going to be five. <laughs> I'm going to call these centimeters. It's going to be five centimeters, okay? It's not stated what unit we're working with. That's why I'm assuming we're just going to be working with centimeters. I just kind of identified it as centimeters. My width, if I look at my width right here, it is two centimeter cubes wide. So I'm going to do two centimeters. And my height is going to be one, two, three, four. It is four centimeters uh, tall. So if I multiply all those together, I'm going to get five times two times four. And I know that 5 times 2 is 10. And then I also know that 10 times 4 is going to get me 40. So my final answer, the volume of this right rectangular prism right here, is going to be 40 centimeters cubed. And I'm going to write down cubed in parentheses here. And then that, uh, that 3 I'm going to pretend is a exponent 3 to identify that we're dealing with cubic units. So... That's uh, basically the essential concept for this math chat video. I want you guys to go in, identify the length, width, and height of this rectangular prism, this rectangular prism, and this rectangular prism, and then calculate the volume of each one. Now, if you're going to notice, though, you'll notice that each um, right rectangular prism has a different angle that you're looking at. It doesn't matter what you identify as the length, width, and height, as long as you're identifying each side as a particular measurement. Okay, so for length, you're only using this for length, you're not using it for length and width. Okay, you're going to notice that this viewpoint is different than this viewpoint and different from this viewpoint as well when you're calculating what each uh, measurement is. Your last one is kind of challenging. Now, I, I gave you guys a similar problem to this before uh, as a challenge, but I want you guys to attempt it now. You were given the volume, the width, and the height of this rectangular prism right here. We know that the width is 4, the height is 8, but we don't know what the length is. But I do know that 8 
times 4 times something else times that length is going to give me a total volume of 256 inches cubed. Now it does say inches right here. That's how I know the unit we're working with is inches. We know, again, that formula of volume equals length times width times height is 256. But I don't have my length. But I can find out what my length is given the information that I have in front of me. I will get you started with this one. And then I want you guys to finish this one up on your own. Okay? We know that 256 equals, I'm going to do question mark, times 4 times 8. Okay? Well, I know that 4 times 8 is going to get me 32. From there, what can I do to figure out what that missing length is? I have 256 equals something times 32. I'm going to leave the rest of that up to you guys to figure out what that missing length is right there. Go ahead and type in what the missing length is. Make sure you label it as inches because in this case we are working strictly with inches. When you guys are all done, hit the turn in button up top here. Uh, mine says share, but yours should say turn in. And I'm excited to see your guys' answers in your work. All right, guys, take care and happy math calculating. <laughs>